channel so for today I decided to do another get ready with me I am getting ready um, for Thanksgiving I have to hurry up with this intro because everybody's waiting on me and I have to go eat now but um yeah I hope that you guys all enjoy this video and I love you guys so much and I hope that you all have a great Thanksgiving and a great holiday season I love you all so so much and yeah so if you want to see how to create this makeup look right here then please keep on watching Bye guys. Okay, so I already did my foundation and my eyebrows just so it would, you know, go by a little bit faster because, you know, I don't want this to be a super long video and um, me doing my foundation is pretty much the same in every other video. So um, yeah, I'm just going to take this shade right here in the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm just going to use that as my transition shade. I'm not going to um, zoom in a lot because my skin just looks so bad and I'm just, you know, trying to not show the world my disgusting peeling skin, even though I'm sure you can see it from far away. I'm just, <laughs> nope. That epiduo that I have to take for my skin is absolutely drying it to a crisp. Like I feel like a French baguette, like crunchy. It's so bad, but um, but it fluctuates. Like sometimes like my skin, is fine and it's not peeling and then other times it's like hi you're like the Sahara Desert it's so bad so um yeah it's, it sucks if you guys can hear people laughing or talking that is my family because obviously it's Thanksgiving today and I'm getting ready because you know as we do on Thanksgiving as ladies getting ready all right, now I'm gonna take the shade Pooter. I swear that's like the only eyeshadow shade that I remember. I have the card for like the shade names, but I don't really know where it is, but you know, it's fine. It's fine, we don't need it. But I'm just gonna take the shade Pooter and I'm going to also run this into my crease area right along that other transition shade just to deepen it up a little bit. And I'm just using the same brush as well. So yeah. All right, on a more dense, fluffy brush. Well, not really dense, but it's just um, a goat haired, more narrow looking brush. This is the M513 brush from Morphe. I'm just going to take this shade right here. It's called Buns. And I'm going to run this into like the lower crease area and then blend it out to like the outer V um, just to really set down a good base before we go in with that black. Um, I personally like adding a lot of shadows especially when I'm doing a more dark look, like a dark smoky look. I like adding a bunch of different um, similar shades just so it really helps with the blending um, of the next shades that you will be um, using. And it just creates a more gradient look. And it just looks better, but um, yes. Yeah. And then after we do that, I'm just going to take that first brush that I used for the beginning transition shades and I'm just going to take a little bit of the first shade that we used. Um, you don't really have to take anything, but I'm just going to use it um, to blend out this buns shade just to make sure everything looks super blended out and smoky. You don't want any harsh lines. All right, now that we've done that, I'm going to take the black shade. This one I believe is called Abyss, and I'm just going to start working this in the lower crease area and the outer V mainly. Um, I'm going to start from the outer V and keep in mind the um, spot where you first touch your brush with your shadow is going to end up being the darkest spot of the look. And you don't need a lot with this black shadow because it is so pigmented. I think I actually probably used a little bit too much, but that's fine. I'll just wipe it off in a little bit. I'm just going to start just like gradiently packing it on the outer V and then flicking it up just a teeny bit and start working it into that crease area. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So we're gonna pack like so, and then flick up a little bit 
and start slowly moving it into the crease. All right, now that I've cleaned off my brush, I'm going to take a little bit of Pooter and the first transition shade that we used, and I'm just going to um, use this to help me blend out the black. You can use a clean brush if you want. Doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to use that same brush that I used with the black, just I cleaned it off, or you can use a different brush, doesn't really matter. Just a clean brush. And start blending this black. And one thing when you're working with black in a smoky eye and stuff like that, just remind yourself just to be patient with it because, I mean, it's like any other smoky eye really. It, it looks bad at first and then it really starts to come together. Just keep on blending and just be patient with it and I promise you it'll come together. Um, but if it doesn't, that's completely fine. I mean, wipe it off, start over. It's just makeup and just keep practicing with it. That's one thing, it takes practice, so just be patient with it. Like right now, this is what I will do when I'm working with black. I will um, continuously clean off my brush um, after I have been blending around that black for a while because it can start to get a lot of black on that brush and it'll start blending black higher and higher and higher into like your brow bone where you don't want it. So yeah, just like make sure your brush stays pretty clean while blending. All right, now I'm just going to take a little brush and some airspun powder. Just take any like loose powder that you have and I'm going to create a little line right here just to make sure that every, it like cleans it up and like creates a good crisp line right there to where the eyeshadow will not, um, it won't like go past this line right here. And it'll just like help clean everything up. So, yas. All right, now with a denser brush, I'm going to take that black and I'm going to really just pack it on the outer V again after we blended it up. We kind of lost some of that pigment right here. And that's what I want to be the darkest is the outer V area. So I'm just gonna go back and pack this on. Okay, now I'm going to take this middle shade right here. I believe this one's called Sis. I'm not really sure, uh, or sissy, I don't know. I don't know, don't quote me on that, but I'm just going to take that center kind of rose gold shade and I'm just going to pop that on my lid. Okay, and now I'm just going to take the two highlight shades in the palette and I'm just going to mix them together. Um, God, my chair. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to mix them together and highlight my brow bone in my inner corner. So we like planned on making four pies, but um, hmm. yeah, no. Uh, we ended up having like so much of each recipe I'm guessing, no, I don't know because I mean we use like the pie crust and the pie pan, like everything, like the dimensions were correct, like what they asked for, um, like what the recipe asked for, but we still had so much of like the mix and stuff that we ended up making like double of each pie. So we have like a ton of pies, but that's, you know, I'm not complaining. All right, I just used the um, shadows that I used on my top lid and kind of just, you know, applied them to my bottom lash line. And then I applied the lashes in the style Bomesque. Um, they are from Blinking Butte. Um, and now I'm just going to bronze up my face using my Physicians Formula Bronzer. We are almost done. Oh my goodness, you guys. Like, I've had, I don't, 
I don't understand it. It's like I set my under eyes and then they got like super like crusty and then fallout got a little bit of fallout. Um, it just takes a little bit to ruin everything, <laughs> but a little bit of fallout of the black got onto my lower lash line and I went to like dust it away with like a fluffy brush and it completely just like smudged right there. So yeah, I did my best to like fix it. Um, but I hope that you guys can't see. I just hate that because like then it just like your concealer and your foundation, especially like when your face is starting to like peel and all that stuff, it just starts looking like bunchy and patchy and cakey and I hate it. It just sucks. Okay, if you can hear anything, more family is coming. <laughs> I'm just going to contour my face using my shade and light palette. Just contour my cheekbones ever so slightly. I don't think people realize just how annoying my dogs are. Like, it's really just the one. He's like a chihuahua mix, like a pomawawa, I think. <clears throat> he barks all the time and it sucks. Anyways, I'm going to take this shade Dolce Pink and it's a baked blush from Milani. Like, I don't understand. He just barks so much I, all the time any little thing anyways i'm going to take the shade santorini from kylie cosmetics this is a powder highlight and it's amazing and a little bit goes a long way and it you can get it honestly i got it for like 15 bucks and that is such a good price for such a great product and you barely need anything like i'm pretty sure i'll have this for like years because you barely need any of it and it goes such a long way and it's so pretty. Speaking of Kylie and my overuse of her products, <laughs> I'm going to take Candy K and I'm going to apply this to my lips, obviously. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed and give this video, video, what? I hope you all enjoy and if you did, please give this video a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. We are growing slowly but surely and I am just so excited and I just want to say thank you guys for all the love and just everything. Like, it means just the most to me and I'm so thankful for you guys and I hope that you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving and just like an amazing holiday season and yeah I love you guys so so much and please eat a lot of pie a lot of turkey or ham or whatever you guys will be eating this Thanksgiving and just spend it with your family and friends and I hope that you all just have a great time but yeah I love you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video bye guys